Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia, where we last left off, we were uh, exploring the catacombs. We've just saved everybody else, and everybody else has got the hell out of here. Uh, I did start recording this video, I got all the way down to where you see on that map there, and then I realised that uh, my microphone wasn't recording, and neither was the game sound, so, well, we haven't really lost too much, so. Anyway, let's go. We're going to keep cutting out the uh, battles for now, just because last time I was here, my god, we had quite a few. We had about ten minutes, and we hadn't really gone very far, because the battles in this game are incredibly slow. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Whoa, Moonberry. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Well, I mean, that was kind of interesting. Most of those enemies ran away anyway. But, uh, yeah, that was like a two-minute fight. <laughs> it really does eat into your time. Ooh, look at this place. Now. Yeah, bro, I'm always mixed, you know, on cutting out the battles. I don't know really what the best approach to do is. But, you know... It's nice to make some progress in these videos. Ooh, have we seen these things before? These are new. I think. I don't know what that is. Like some kind of <clears throat> angel thing. Well, they're electric, whatever they are. I'm not sure if we have seen those before. They hurt. I know that much. Yeah, they do go down pretty easy, though. Not sure what it's called. Probably an electro bat or something. Disclaimer: probably not an electro bat at all. Look how many enemies there are? There's so many. Okay, well, Vi's is at least a little resistant, I guess. Oh, this is gonna hurt potentially. Oof! Very low chance of hitting that. Luckily. Uh, right, you can carry on as normal. Let's go for some uh, Alpha Storm. Uh, yeah, if we go for him, we might be able to hit at least two of them with that. Yep. Oh no, it's going to hit three. Ah, lovely. I love that Alpha Storm. Love it so much. Get the hell out of here. I guess that was easy. Nice bit of XP for that, too. Excellent. Alright. Cool. Let's get out of it. Uh, what's our health like, actually? Uh, ooh. Ica is a little bit walking wounded, isn't she? Let's go for some items. Oh, she's only got one MP. Uh, let's fix that, shall we? Alright, let's get some crystals. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Alright, let's get out of this ladder people. See what's up up here. Apart from shitty sewer water. Yum. Can we go? Nope. Okay. Apparently we're not able to go into the actual river itself. This is still very much looks like a Dreamcast game though. Oh, look at all the um, draw distance kind of like fading into effect. Dude. Wait. Vase. Marco. Marco, you followed us? What's wrong? Please don't go, please. My mother and father were both killed by Valuant soldiers whilst they were trying to escape from the city. There's no way out. Trying to get through the Grand Fortress, it's impossible. No one has ever escaped from Valua. You're gonna die this time. I just know it. Your parents. I'm sorry to hear that, Marco. But I have to go. I don't have a choice. And every time I hear the word impossible, it makes me want to prove everyone wrong. A long time ago, a handful of sailors took a small boat out into uncharted skies. They had no idea what they would find. Monsters, a maelstrom, the end of the world. It was because of these sailors, uh, it was because these sailors challenged the unknown that new lands were discovered.
If we challenge ourselves and never give up, our own horizons will broaden, in our hearts and in our minds. I need to push myself every day. I have to know what I can accomplish. I never give up, and so far, nothing has ever stopped me. But vase Don't worry about me. I believe we'll make it out. I'll go find a way. That's what's keeping me going. I'm going to prove it's not impossible to escape. Impossible is just a word to let people feel good about themselves when they quit. I like that line. I like that line. Hmm. Vase, do you think I could ever be a sailor? If I could ever sail the skies? Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, of course. You've got what it takes. I'll be waiting for you out there. Thank you. Wah! Sounds like Wario. Lord Glacian brings good news, Your Majesty. Indeed I do, Your Highness. I am sure you will be pleased. As you have requested, my forces have captured a silver light. Oh, excellent work, Galician. Or Galician. Something I don't give a fuck. Either way, uh, you have yet to fail me. So, this is what a silver light looks like. Hmm, such a beautiful girl. Her clothes are interesting. A nice specimen. Today, we have taken another step closer to our main objective. Soon, the value and empire shall rule the world. You seem sad, young one. Why do you not rejoice with us? You shall witness our finest hour. You have the knowledge we seek. You can assist us. <laughs> All oppose us shall fail. Their islands shall be reduced to ash and dust. Anybody who stands in our way will be destroyed. And you, young one, shall help us. <clears throat> Mother... Ruling the world by force is not something I'm sure I approve of. Enrique, eh? An empire that does not listen to the plight of its people is destined to fail. Enrique, you still have such, uh, so much to learn. You cannot walk the path of an emperor and concern yourself with the petty worries of the people. But mother... Now, now, Enrique, I'm building an empire for you. Since you should inherit the throne when I pass on, you should pay more attention. Well then, young lady. I know that there are six moon crystals that have been scattered all over the world. I also know that he who controls the moon crystals controls the weapons of mass destruction. I believe your people refer to them as gigas. When the Gigas are ours, we shall rule the world. Now, young lady, you will tell me where to find the moon crystals. I will die before I tell you. What did you say? You do not understand how powerful the Gigas really are. The Gigas were great weapons of destruction built by the old world. They are more powerful than you can imagine. And that is precisely why Valium must obtain these weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that laugh. Brilliant. <laughs> Since we are the most powerful empire, we should have full control over them. And once we have them, we shall rule the world. Yeah, she's a one, one trick pony by the look of things. No, humans must never control the moon crystals and the gigas ever again. Power hungry dictators like you are the reason humans must never control them. You dare insult me, the Empress of the Great Value and Empire, in my own palace? Kill her! Kill her! Kill the little wench! Off with her head! Jesus. Mother, think about what you're saying. You cannot kill her. She's done nothing wrong. Are you saying that this girl is innocent, Enrique, even after she insulted me so? Kill her! Kill her now! Please, you must believe me. The power of the Gigas is not to be underestimated. Silence, wench! You shall pay for your insolence. Oh, fucking hell. 
Lord Glacian, I bring urgent news. Somebody has broken into the Colosseum and freed the Blue Rogues. Mm. What? What? I'm on my way. Take the girl to the ship and bring her to the Grand Fortress immediately. Yes, Lord Glacian. Your Majesty, I request permission to deploy the Armada. I will take the girl with me and she will guard me to the Moon Crystals. <laughs> Very well then. Use the power of the Armada and bring the crystals to me. Of course, Your Majesty. However, I have but one humble request. I would like to request that a new addition be made to our highest ranking officers. I would like to recommend my vice captain, Ram Rim Ramirez, for the position. Do as you wish. In return, I want you to give me your word that you'll bring me those crystals. <coughs> your Majesty. As you wish, Your Majesty. You heard the Admiral. Get up. Ram Ramirez? Hmm. That name seems to ring a bell. Alright, let's keep going. Time waits for no man. Or something. So here we are in the noble upper echelons of society in this place. Ladi fucking da. Hello. Oh, things are a little bit different here, aren't they? Upper city value and this is Valiant's upper city. Only those of wealthy stature, born of noble blood, live here, of course. It's much harder life here in upper city than you think. There are so many plays, so many parties. I'm a very busy person. Yeah, sounds actually shit, but okay. Look at these dicks. The bathtub in my house is made out of gold, you know? Pure gold, of course. But something is still missing. I know, I'll have my toilet made out of pure silver. Yeah, so can shit down silver, eh? Hmm, okay. Pure silver toilet. Very nice. Alright, well, let's drop a save. God, look at these bastards. You know what we should have brought up here, Vase? We should have brought a guillotine. We should... Slicing these people's heads off. I can't believe there's even a fountain here. I feel like I'm in a completely different country compared to Lower City. Yeah, the Great Divide. This guy's cool. I remember him. My mummy told me that people in Lower City rarely get to eat white bread. But that's stupid. If they can't eat bread, why don't they just eat cake? Hee 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 you little twat. It doesn't work like that everywhere, my friend. Oh, are you a nobleman? You'll have to ex excuse me, but which family are you from? Ah, right. Hang on. Right, so which is the correct response here? Oh, I have like so many guides here. It's unbelievable. Um. Well. Apparently. Apparently, there's nothing here. We're going to say we're from the Dine family. Me? I'm one of the members from the Dine family. Hmm, the Dine family, you say? I don't seem to recall any noble families of such a name. Well, just looking at you, I can tell you came from a noble military family. I shall try to remember that name. Yes, as, as you should. Lest you lose your head. Alright, let's have a little look around here. Yes, yeah, this is quite a nice little place, actually. Uh, it doesn't quite feel like a city, but, you know. They had limited resources back then. Plenty of noble people over here. So we don't look like pirates. That's curious. That huge vehicle over there must be the rail car. I think you're right, Ica. Looks like it can only ride on those rails. I guess it will be hard to steal. Let me get a closer look. Aha! Fina! What are you talking about? I thought Fina was supposed to be at the palace. That's what I thought, but it looks like that rail car is going to... 
going to the Grand Fortress. If she gets taken to the fortress, we'll never be able to get her out. We have to move now. Well, this is going to get awkward. Sounds like the engines are starting. We'll never get down there in time. Base, what should we do? Well, we're going to have to jump on the thing. We've got to jump onto the roof. What? Isn't there a plan B? Come on, Iger. This shouldn't be too tough. And luckily, the roof is nice and flat. Oh, nice, Ica. Well, you're not dead, so there's that. I think I remember this bit, actually. Okay. Fina should be at the front of the rail car. Let's go. So I think we have to fight our way up now. Lord Glacian, we've received a message from the central station in Upper City. They've spotted some air pirates snooping around the rail cars. Mm. What? And the air pirates who escaped the execution? Uh, are they still free? Yes, Lord Glacian, my humblest apologies. Yeah, it matters not. I'll summon the city guards to sweep all of the rail cars. We'll find them. That won't be necessary. We know where they're heading. They're going to try and rescue the girl. What's the status of the Grand Fortress gates? They're currently open, sire. They aren't scheduled to close for a while. Close the gates immediately. Place all ships in the bay on full alert. Dispatch the Imperial rail car immediately. I shall deal with these pirates myself. Yes, Lord Glacian. Right, let's go. Well, in Rome. All right, let's see what we're fighting here. I think we're just fighting normal soldiers. We are. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say they're normal soldiers, but soldiers all the same. They're actually, pretty tough, to be honest. Well. Yeah, maybe not that tough. Keep your head down, guys, because, you know, could be a little bit awkward otherwise. Oh, no, 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 no. None of that. None of that, you bastard. Oof. FaZe is doing some serious damage to this guy. There we go. You're done, son. Get out of here. <clears throat> it was fun, wasn't it, Ica? We had a great time. 50 XP, not bad. Ica's leveled, good. Hey, and we got some Sacred Crystals as well. Can't argue with that. Let's keep going. Ooh. Yeah, that's totally safe. Dude's a fucking badass. Look at him. What a chad. Who's that? Faze, there's something about this guy. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think we can take him. Yeah, he looks really mad too. Ika. Here's the plan. Run. We have to get to Fina before he catches us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's constantly marching towards us. Uh, if he catches us, we're dead. So, yeah, let's let's not let him catch us, huh? So, who are we fighting this time? Ah, oh, these guys again. Yeah, another pretty uneventful battle, to be fair. Alright, let's keep going. Actually, health. Ooh, health is a little on the low side. Let's use some magic, actually. Sure, that'll do. Just a little bit of a top-up. Right, let's keep going. Look at that absolute Chad just following us. Absolute unit. 
What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, these guys again. That was easy. Right. That'll do. Let's go. Let's go. Stay away from the absolute unit over there. It's actually moving pretty quickly. Not sure why he's not running at us, but hey. I <laughs> just kicked the door in. Phase? Who are you? I am death. Come for thee. Sorry we took so long, Fina. We're here to get you out. Insolent pests. You'll have to get past us first. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah, these guys are probably going to be a little bit more serious. Oh, Fina's passed out, apparently. Um, well. Let's just go for the Royal Guards. Counter stance. That's not good. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, well, that doesn't hurt too much, I guess. And at least we got a critical hit. <laughs> just give me a little jab in the ribs. That's fine. Um, right, you know, let's just give him another attack. Let's go... Actually, Alpha Storm. Let's try Alpha Storm, shall we? Um, yeah, go on. Um. See if we can actually do a decent amount of damage to them. Nah, not really. Not really worth it. Okay. Although, we can pretty much use it every turn, so... I guess there's that. Stop jabbing me in the sternum with your fucking rifles. Honestly. Yeah, we should be able to take these guys out pretty pretty fast. And we should be able to use Vise's move. Vase, Vise, Vars, whatever. Alright, that didn't quite go to plan, I don't think. Nope, there we go, he's dead. One down. Um, a special move. Should be able to do Cutlass Fury. Give him some of that. And Ica can just wail on him. Now, how much does that do? Ooh, yes. Yes. Opened him up like a tin of fucking beans. Jesus. Alright, let's keep going. And counter stance all you like, but it's not as deadly as I thought it was. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Stop poking me in the ribs. You absolute penis. There we go. No, it actually wasn't. I thought that was going to be a little bit more intense than it was. Wow, dude. Look at all that XP. Fuck. Magic droplets times 10. Damn. Not bad. And 1.5k uh, too. I'm so glad you're safe, Fina. We were worried about you. Baze, I care. How, how did you... Why? What do you think? We're here to save you. You mean you did all this just for me? Well, yes. Aw, Fina. We're friends. We aren't going to let them take you away from us. Yes, we've known each other 30 seconds, but we're best friends. Thank you both so much. Honestly, I was so scared. I was all alone. I was afraid they were going to hurt me. Oh, thank you. I'm just... I'm so grateful. Everything is okay now, Fina. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, just hand over your wallet. Uh-oh. No, I can't allow that. What? He found us? Yeah, well, it's pretty bloody obvious where you were. It's a linear line straight to us. I am Glacier, Lord of the Imperial Marder. You have caused us a great deal of trouble. Boy, what is your name? I am Vise of the Blue Rogues. I thought you were the guy. <laughs> I just thought you were the guy that cleaned the rail cars. Yeah, so you're the one that made a fool out of Alfonso. 
That girl is worth nothing to you, air pirates. Hand her over to me. I guarantee your lives as well as that of the girl will be spared. Is it a deal? Well, pretty sure we're going to say, never. Never. I don't know what you want with her. But your value and whatever it is, can't be good. Do you honestly think that after attacking the Valiant Armada, you'll be able to fly the skies freely? We're air pirates. We don't need your permission for anything. If we see something we want, we take it. That's very disappointing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. I must destroy you. <clears throat> yeah, this could be bad. Baze! The little Jack! There she is. Yeah, that's gonna make your ears ring. What do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gutted. Good old Drachma. Guess he's not a miserable old bastard after all. Well, I mean, he is, but at least he cares more than he says. You were late, Vase. We decided to come get you, and from the looks of it, we were just in time. Fina, are you alright? Yes. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you've gone through so much trouble to rescue me. Relax, Fina. We're all okay right now. Save the mushy stuff for later. She's right. We can all be thankful after we've gotten out of Valua. Captain, emergency. They're closing the gates. That's bad. If the gate closes, we're all dead. Yeah, this is really bad. We're under attack. Value and ships. Dead ahead. They're blocking the entrance. We've got to act fast. We need to take out that blockade. Looks like I'm going to be able to test out the harpoon cannon earlier than I thought. All hands! Battle stations! Alright, Drachma has joined the party. Again. <laughs> I actually like that. That's uh, a pretty cool touch. Right, here we go. I spear this sucker. Value and cruiser. We got a warning about you air pirates from the Coliseum guards. We're not letting you through here. Yeah? Yeah? Is that right? So, we now have the S cannon. We need 15 spirit points are required to fire the cannon. So, we're just going to bide our time uh, and see if we can't save up yeah, I think we're going to have to focus again let's just charge up oh no we could have fired the spirit cannon actually that's fine it's only a pissy little ship standard cannons missed oh yeah that's a really pathetic looking ship actually no we wouldn't be able to fire the cannon that's a shame Sub cannon. Ooh, she stings. She stings a lot. And the standard cannons too. Sub cannons seem to do more damage. There we go. Now we can fire our primary weapon. You can see the harpoon cannon on the end now. It looks badass. Okay. Boy, the harpoon cannon takes a lot of spirit points to fire. Also, you can only fire it when the target is in the right place. So, attack the enemy with your normal cannons and build up your spirit. And when the time is right, unleash the harpoon cannon. Aye. Right. I'm going to go for... Oh, yes. Main cannons. Actually, let's charge up some more spirit. Let's go for some main cannon action. And then we're going to fire our primary weapon.
This thing ain't gonna know what hit it. This harpoon cannon is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Saying that, we hurt it with that quite significantly, actually. Yeah, we're taking a bit of damage, but its time is numbered. I've never been one uh, a fan of stubby gun designs, though. I must be fair. I like decent sized barrel length. Ooh, yes. Good night. 13,000 damage. That's insane. Absolute insanity. 13,000 damage. Got a repair kit that we're going to need. <laughs> Looks like that was the last of them. Now we just need to get through that gate. Let's go. Gotta be fast, like Sonic. Look at those cannons. Please, it's closing, hurry! Come on, come on, little Jack. Oof, oh, just. Oh, that's going to sting. That's going to hurt some pride. We did it! Yay! <laughs> I knew you could do it, Vase. You're the greatest. I know, I know. Settle down. First people ever to break it out. Of that shithole. You got us through there by the skin of our teeth. You had me worried there for a second. We can finally say goodbye to Valua. Alright, let's go back home to Pirate Island. Yeah, there's still a problem. We need a ship. <laughs> I mean, we've got this, but it's technically not ours, is it? Somebody is going to be a little bit salty now. Faze, Iker, Captain Drachma. I just wanted to tell you how much I... Uh, ah, don't worry about it. The valuers went through a lot of trouble to capture you. We just like making them mad. Vase is just kidding, Vino. You're our friend now. But while we were there, I did want to grab some more loot. What? Ika, you wanted to stay in Valua? We barely made it out of there. Hey, it's an air pirate's duty to liberate any treasure that can help the needy. Yeah, she's not wrong. <laughs> um, Fina, there's something I want to ask you. What is this mission you're on? What are you looking for? Why the value and empire after you? We might be able to help. All right, I'll tell you. I'm a silverlight, a descendant of the silver civilization. Silver civilization? Hundreds of generations ago, the world's population was divided into six civilizations. One existed under each of the moons in the sky. Green, red, blue, purple, yellow, and silver. Each civilization harnessed the power of its moon by learning how to use moonstones as a source of energy. The entire world went through a technological revolution, but technology advanced faster than people wielding it. The leaders of each of the civilizations became corrupt, and their ambition to led them to war. They used their technology to create weapons. These weapons were called Gigas. They were gigantic living weapons that were able that were capable of destroying whole islands. I've heard about these Gigas before. There's a giant and a dragon. But I thought they were all tales parents told their children. I never thought they were real. Oh Ika, they're very real. 
When the ancient civilizations went to war, they unleashed the Gigas on each other. So many people died. Then something happened. The rains of destruction fell. Nobody knows exactly what caused it. Moonstones fell from each of the moons. They fell for what seemed like an eternity. Thousands of stones fell at a time, like a rainstorm. It was almost as if the moons wanted to make sure that their powers would never be misused again. Millions died in the rains. The stones battered the islands and leveled the cities. All the ancient civilizations were destroyed. Only a few survivors remained. But even if the rains of destruction never happened, the Gigas would have destroyed the world anyway. And now there are people who are trying to reawaken the Gigas. You mean the value and empire? Yes. But to command the Gigas, it is necessary to find the moonstones. A moon crystal is a highly concentrated form of moonstone. The original moon crystals used to control the Gigas are scattered throughout the world. Valua is searching for those crystals so they can reawaken the Gigas. And that's why the Value and Empire kidnapped you, to find out where they were hidden. Yeah, I was sent here to gather the crystals before the Valuans could find them and put them somewhere they could never be used again. Vez, Ica, I, have, I know I have caused you enough trouble, but I have another favour to ask you. I would like you to go with me to help me travel the world in search of the crystals. So this <laughs> this technologically amazing silver empire sent one person on a lone ship to find these. Okay, typical, typical nonsense. Cool. Please, without my ship, I can't do it. And if Valua gets the crystals, I, I don't even want to think about what would happen. Uh, and I think it's pretty obvious that we just say, leave everything to us. Oh, we'll go with you and find those crystals. Yeah, base. I guess this is your chance to see what lies beyond the sunset. You're right, Ica. Thank you so much. If you two come with me, I would be so honored. Huh? What was that noise? Was that your stomach? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, you can come out now. Huh? What, what is that thing? Where did it come from? It's been with me ever since I was a baby. It's from my homeland, and I can change its shape. It's usually shaped like a bracelet around my arm. Huh. Actually, the thing's kind of cute. What's its name? Its name is Cupel. Come, Cupel. Say hello to everyone. It's so cute. I'm very pleased to meet you, Cupel. Well, you know, we've got a long journey ahead of us. If we do our best to help you get the crystals... Thank you. I'm so glad you're helping me. Now, the only problem left is Captain Dine. I wonder if he'll let us go. What are you worried about? Even if he does say no, we'll just go anyway. Yeah. Alright. Once we're finished getting everything ready, we'll leave from the underground port. Okay. Fina has joined your party. You received the silver moonstone. Excellent. Okay. Now, with that bombshell dropped... Now, there is somewhere. Aha! Come here, you little turd. Where are you? There we go. And another moonfish. Excellent. Okay, cool. So, I guess now everything's been repaired around here. We can start going down. Now, it occurred to me that I actually skipped the journey going all the way down. Uh, I'm not going to skip it this time, just so you can see just how ridiculously long it is. Look at this. Look at this madness. So this place has now been fully reconstructed, which is nice. And I'm in desperate need to make myself coffee. So after this episode, I'm going to do that. Because uh, my blood caffeine levels are starting to waver. I can feel it. There we go. Right. Let's go find ourselves that save point. Hey, everybody. You're not dead. There's the save point. I was going to say, I know it's here somewhere. Right. Slot A. 
Give it a save. Boop. Right, guys. Now, on that bombshell, when we come back, we're going to explore the island to go talk to Daddy and see what he has to say. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.